Fool it down. What's up with you, bro? What's good with you, my God? You know, HD. Man, what you, what you got? Work? What you working on for 2020? Music, all different types of music, man. Time to show like this year. I'm trying to show like my artists or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying? Like trying to make all different types. Like from motherfucking rap pop to trap pop to trap rap to whatever. Like you know. What you man? got you got some other uh, types coming out this year. You got a tape coming out. Yeah, I got fast cars and pretty women for the drop probably by the next month or two, and then I got uh like my next album's gonna be like a kind of like a famous artist, but I'm gonna put like you know how I be putting like my face and shit on people shit, so I'm gonna do it like that, like put my face and my 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 shit on the, on like a different artist, like a famous artist or something. For sure. So like, how did you get like started with music? <laughs> shit. Ever since I was younger, had my granny. She put me in choir and shit. Well, not like. Choir, but like, you know what I'm saying? Come to the church and sing, or I like go up there with her and hum and shit, like I'm singing. But then when I got like to middle school, she put me in like choir, choir. And then I was like, shit came so easy. Like, they wanted me to like do the Dover at me, Fossil Light T shit, and I ain't do none of that shit, but I'll still go to the competitions and win. Cause shit just came so easy. Cause so I you were actually practice. like singing. Yeah, yeah, like I was like, yeah, yeah, like I used to, when we used to go to them hoes, I used to get first chair. Like that was the best you can get. What's first chair? Explain it to. First chair is like you can get first chair, second, third. It's like they go all the way to twenty from like it's out of like six hundred kids. Like they go, everybody go sing like thirty seconds worth of song in front of the judges, and so shit. I guess I was the best one out of the six hundred kids in the song. So I used to get first chair every year, like. And then my freshman year, I got all state. When I was in high school, I got all state, and I had a, I had a solo, yeah. and so I did that whole. But then, like during middle school, we had a choir teacher, and she never liked me because she said I used to always be ghetto. She said I used to always be hood, and so she would never fuck with me. And so when I when I left, I was like, good, I got. How old you this time? I'm like 14, 13, maybe you know, well, middle school, yeah, 12, 13, 14. Well, listen, this bitch, my 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 choir teacher died at the high school. They brought this bitch up there. She never, she bought the same grudge against me. She used to stand at the door and kick me out every time I walked to class. She'd be like, you get out. We ain't even did shit. We just walking there. We ain't did shit. She tell me to get out. Then my homeboy, used to, just because he was with me, she used to kick him out too. She'd be like, no, you a bad influence on his life. And she used to kick him out too. I was like, damn, bitch. She's like, damn, she got a grudge. But she couldn't teach me shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I knew the shit already. Like, like me and my granny sing every night. What can you teach me in this little hour? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So that shit was easy. So, so at what point did you like start going to the studio? Shit, what I was talking about, 15, 16, me and my nigga Will made a studio in the bathroom. Like we had like a we had like a laptop plug that we had a Walmart microphone. That bitch had a hanger wrapped around it with a do-rag. Like it's a cloth on that bitch. And we made a song and that bitch went hard. I swear to God that went hard. And then we uh we just started we played that whole all the time. My nigga was rapping. And he was like, nigga, you start rapping, so I started rapping with him. And then the, as the older I got, the more I started like freestyling. And, Cause when I was younger, I used, to, I used to always to say like one bar. I can give you like some, some and stop. I can't think of nothing oh, else. Everybody can get it hard, then one hard. Bro. Yeah, but it got to a point to where I can just go the whole bitch from start to finish. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers started really, you know what I'm saying, fucking with me here. You know, I used to be in the car. We'd be smoking. We 16, 17. They could only be fully freestyle. I freestyle. I eat the whole bitch. So you don't, you don't write it all? No. Well, I used to write. I write sometimes. depending on how I feel. It really, it's really like when I do music, I do, it do, I do it on my moods. You know what I'm saying? Or I do it on shit. If I'm in the moment, or I do it some shit like uh, if I just did that shit yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It's on my mind. I find a way to say it. You know what I'm saying? So I just do it like it's hard for me to write. I used to write, but I really I can't write nothing but hooks. I, I can't write no verses because my verses got to be. I got to feel them hoes. You can't. You can sit down right, you can't get that same vibe as you can in the studio with them headphones on rocking. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to. Well, like, what, like, motive, what motivates you, like, to keep rapping? Like, my what makes brother. you want to, like, get up every day? My little brother. My little brother, he used to play my shit all the time. What happened, at, what happened with your little, little brother? Shit, he, uh, he was driving to hell, I guess. He was, I don't know, he, he flipped, he hit a curve, he was in the corner with a Bible music. Flipped the car, flipped the car, flew out the cars in a smart car. He had no seatbelt on, uh, and he had the windows down, and he flew out the car here. And then uh, the other girl, she was with him, she had a seatbelt on, she broke her leg. She was still straight. I mean, but, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, when it's your day, it's your day here. You can't, you know. 
I didn't see people. I didn't. I didn't have a red. Didn't have no seat, but I've been good. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see the little boxer nigga had a seat. Had a red. And they say if you had a seat, but I don't even die. It wasn't that Earl Spence. Yeah. Yeah. You see how that shit goes. You see how that shit goes. Yeah. So you know, you really got to live your life. You can't do shit else. You got to live your life every day like it's your last day, man. That's what I do every day. I wake up every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? See my talk to my kids. See my kids, or you know, go to work. That's, so that's like your biggest motivation, like, what you, you really did have? 2017. Yeah. 2018. So pretty much since 2017, like, uh, yeah, you've been, been like, like, I'm going, I'm just going to go hard with yeah, you. Oh, yeah. It's been on some, like, personal shit. You know what I'm saying? I took it personal. Like, bet. You know what I'm saying? This nigga wouldn't let me. He wouldn't be, he wouldn't, you know, my nigga, he was goofy. So he wouldn't want me down here on some soap and ass shit. I dropped soap and ass music, but that's how I be feeling. But I still going to make music. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know. If I feel, I'm gonna make a song too. So if I'm lit, I'm gonna make a lit song. If I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I went to go see, I went to go talk to some people, and they told me that um, the best way to to handle like anxiety and shit is through writing diaries and shit. Yeah. But I was like, fuck that. I write my music, and that's yeah. that's what I'm going through anyway. So I'm just gonna let everybody hear. Does uh, this tape you dropping like reflect a lot of it, like? Oh yeah. Uh, what you going through, like, yeah, yeah. How, like how you feel about that? Yeah, like, yeah. Would, would they get like an insight? Like, yeah, yeah. if people been, if people been, people like most of my fans have been listening to me. They they've been growing with me because they've been like people be inboxing me, telling me like, you know what I'm saying? I listen to your music, you get me through so much. I be going through so much shit. Like, we do telling me their stories, but like, I love you. Woo the woo. And that shit, like, they're, like that, that type of shit right there is like motivation too. That's like okay, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 past me now. You know what I'm saying? And ain't worried about what I. You know what I'm saying? I got. Other motherfuckers look up to me, listening, waiting for some shit. You know what I'm saying? 